All right, so I swapped into some Rainbird R-Van rotator style heads for my sprinkler system. And I've been having some troubles. I think uh, I don't have the water pressure I need. So if you look here, no spinny. So I have to like jump start them. And now it's spinning. Let's go over here, see what he's doing. So he started spinning. The one up there, he gets a lot of water anyway. So I have him turned all the way down. I really should cap him anyway. So then there are five heads on this section. And then this zone runs. This zone runs uh, these two on this small strip here. So I just think it's too much it's a far distance so there's the house on the other side of the house is where the water comes from so it's got a long ways to go and it's got seven heads and i think it's uh not enough pressure and this small strip here it's got a head here and a head here and then that far corner gets doesn't get watered very well so it's partially this head being a little it's not straight up and down, so I think that might fix that. But then at the very end here, if you go look, you can kind of see how he's a little bit, he's pretty straight now. I've been like kind of training him over. But then again, he's not spinning either. Now he's going. So I've been having to jump start these. And that's not really what auto sprinklers are all about. All right, so here's the main section of the yard. It's a little closer to the water and it's got six heads and he does just fine. So they spin just fine. So there's the problem area. So we're gonna go ahead and swap in some, uh, we're gonna try some hunters, the uh, MP rotators. So that's what we're gonna do today, man. A little lawn goals action. All right, so enter the MP1000. This is the Hunter MP Rotator. So we've got five um, 90 to 270 degree. And I think they're the smaller, like eight to 14 or eight to 13 feet. We'll show you in a minute. And then I have two right-hand corners, um, this MP1000. So the Hunter ones um, adjust with that little orange adjustment guy. That's one thing about that nice about the R vans. The rainbows is you can adjust them just by hand. You don't need a special tool. And so this probably would have saved me uh, had I measured my my water pressure beforehand. This probably would have saved me some trouble. But I kind of knew, you know, I thought I'd shoot from the hip and uh, you know try the R vans. They're kind of uh, as far as you know the rotator sprinklers, the Rainbird R van and the Hunter MP rotator. Those are kind of like the uh, the two big names is the Coke and Pepsi, I suppose. Two big names to know. Here are my outgoing nozzles. So I have Hunter Pro Spray nozzles. They're less than a dollar. Um, they um, they're on Hunter bodies. And um, so the whole reason behind a lower flow uh, World War Three upstairs. The whole reason behind a lower flow rotating sprinklers to put less water down in a certain amount of time. So your pro sprays will, for example, they'll put down, for me, they put down a half an inch in that section we're replacing in about 12 minutes. And when I bumped up to the rain birds, it took 40 minutes for that half an inch. So here's where you can kind of see what's going on. And the whole reason between, by why we're doing that is because um, I have, we have heavy clay soil and we're in a Western state. So after 12 or 15 minutes of those heavy, you know, heavy downpour pro sprays, you end up, it just runs off. And there's some slope to the yard, so it just runs off into the gutter, and that's your water going into the gutter. So around here uh, during the growing season, 
you always see water flowing in the gutters and it's not rain, it's runoff, right? So the whole idea behind this lower flow is to save, it gives that clay soil time to soak up that water. It'll, it'll soak it up and hold water really well, but it has to have time to do it. So if it gets water too fast, it just runs off. So that's the whole point between uh, for going this route, right? So there they are. So yeah, about five or six bucks is normal for the rain bird. It looks like I got them from sprinklerwarehouse.com here. So um, they're out of Texas. They are pretty good stuff. And um, so I got the R vans there as well as the MP rotators. A little more for the rotator rotators at the point right now. At this point, uh, but the R vans flow much less like i said much less than the pro spray like i said i had to change it to a 40 minute run time from like a 12 minute run time from for that section and um but the mp rotators flow even less than that so um here's at 180 degrees if you look at this hopefully that's coming through so you have a flow rate gallon per minute so one gallon per minute with a 180 and then the 90s, half a gallon per minute uh, here uh, with the 90 degree arc, right? So that's the Rainbird R van. And that's the R van 18, 13 to 18 foot. And that's a um, 45 to 270. Okay, so here's the Hunter, eight to 15 foot. That would be the com comparable one. A 90 to 210 degree adjustable. And let's go down to the flow rates. So on a 180, you have a 0.42 flow rate gallon per minute. And then you have a nine uh, for the um, uh, a 21 flow rate gallon per minute flow rate on the 90 degree. Also, the Rainbirds like and this is why I should have probably checked my uh, PSI. The Rainbirds like a little higher. Five, they like a 45 degree P, or 45 PSI, whereas the Rainbirds are happier with a little lower. So I'm still shooting from the hip. I never checked my uh, my PSI, but just by virtue of the Hunter MP rotators liking a little less PSI and having the lower flow, I think I can get I can I can get them to spin better than the R vans with my. Uh, longer reach, you know, my further distanced zone uh, with seven heads versus, you know, the five and six on my two other zones. So that's that's the whole point of the video is just to see if I could be, I really like the Rainbirds. Um, and I have a backyard sprinkler set up that I built with PVC. Um, I'll show you that real quick. Uh, so that's pretty much the whole point of this video, just see if the, uh, the MP rotators go, uh, spin better for me without me having to go out there and jump start them. That's basically it. Here comes the AC, so I'll talk over that. So I do like the R vans, and um, so I built a sprinkler just like this. This is Silver Symbol. He's awesome. Um, so I built one like this with a body and then some PVC. So the PVC costs like nine bucks. It was six bucks for the glue and like eight bucks for the body and the I have a 360 head that goes about 20 feet that's for my backyard where I don't have automatic sprinklers and I really like that I actually bought an MP rotator 360 as well and tried it out and it worked fine but it's it actually louder so I actually prefer the R van for this so what I'm going to do when I swap out these R vans is I just have one of these for my backyard at the moment but I will uh, like head-to-head -head coverage. I need head-to-head -head coverage in the backyard. So I'll build a few more of these and I'll bring you along for that. So all is not lost by swapping out my R vans. So, so that's that. Uh, we'll swap them out and then see what happens. Hopefully this video is not too long. Alrighty, just coincidentally we were watering today. So here's a look at the DIY version. Um, it's the R van. It goes about, uh, I have about 20 feet deep, so it goes about 20 feet, and that's pretty good. And um, you just kind of move it three times and turn it down in that section since it's narrower. Um, but yeah, so I think at the R bands that I swap out, I go ahead and make a few more. Um, it's been hot this summer, so I think I need more like head to head coverage. So uh, I'm going to use the R bands that I swap out, make some more of these, and do that. 
Um, so I forgot to say on the computer that the whole reason you want to do this is it helps you save water, right? It doesn't go down the gutter. So like 30% is what they say. So if you spend like 300 bucks normally on like year on water, which, you know, just arbitrary number, and I spend about 100 bucks on heads, then, you know, on nozzles, then uh, you get your payback in a year. I didn't really go that far uh, for analysis, but um, but there's that. Okay, so here we go. I've got the, uh, the MP rotor, rotator swapped in last night and adjusted for the most part. This came out here for the Tuesday morning normal cycle um, and it looks like everybody's spinning, so that's good. Can't over here on my small strip. Over here on my small strip. Uh, it does. It does look like I'm getting. So right here is where the R vans would um, would fall short. So I had. A, I was hand watering that corner there, and it's doing a much better job there. So. All right. So you can kind of see. Look, these are the the sprayer. My neighbors there. You can see how much the street's getting. This is all runoff from the morning sprinklers, man. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do 40 minutes and see what kind of, uh, going for half inch, doing the tuna can challenge. And then, so there's that. So, got a barking dog. So the key, key takeaways would be, before changing out your heads to rotators, um, check your pressure. And then if you got lower pressure, I would err on the side of the MP rotators versus the R van. But I still do like the R vans. If you got the pressure, it's no, no problem going with those too. Thanks for watching guys, bye.